So, about three years ago, I was diagnosed with Graves' disease. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease of the thyroid where the thyroid produces an just excessive amount of hormones. When I was diagnosed, I was actually living in Paris and had a French doctor, so I didn't quite understand what was going on. It sounded really serious. The doctor wasn't quite sure if I had Graves' disease, so he threw out some other alternatives, which included thyroid cancer. So I was pretty panicked when I got my initial diagnosis. But I ended up doing some research myself, talking to some other doctors, and even talking to some other people who have hyperthyroidism. From what my doctors explained to me, there are so many symptoms that could possibly accompany Graves' disease. Luckily, I only had a few, but they included bulging eyes, uh, heart palpitations, I was hungry all of the time, I was hot all of the time, even throughout winter. Uh, I had a hard time sleeping just because I had so much energy. So as you can imagine, I was really keen to get all of that under control. So I started my treatment, which I've been on for the past three years. And during that time, I've been on a few different medications. Um, Propyl Fioracil, Neomercazole, Propanolol, and I think a few others that I don't remember right now. But it's been a really interesting three years trying to find the right dosage and the right medication. I did experience kind of enormous weight fluctuations. Well, I guess not enormous, but weight fluctuations nonetheless. I would be really hungry for a period of a few months, then it would go back to normal, then I'd be really hungry again. So it really depended on the medicine and where I was in the, in the cycle of treatment. So I live in London now, and I recently saw a new endocrinologist here in the UK who gave me some kind of bad news. Um, apparently, my Graves' disease isn't going away after the first and second cycles of treatment, which means that more drastic measures need to be taken now. But the option that he did get excited about was radio iodine therapy, which I had never heard of, and to be honest, when he told me for the first time, explained what it was, I thought he was crazy. So it essentially means uh, ingesting radioactive iodine orally, um, which only goes to your thyroid and kills part of it, um, which reestablishes normal levels of, of thyroid activity. Or at least that's what I understood it to be. So there seems to be a fair amount of information online. I started researching, obviously, immediately to try to get more details, more information about, about this option. Um, but what I would really love is to hear from anyone who's already gone through a radio iodine therapy um, to know what kind of side effects you had, if, if you would recommend it, if there were any, any issues that, that arose, uh, and generally how you felt afterwards. Is there anyone who could share with me their experience with radio iodine therapy? I'd love to hear what you have to say and, and how the procedure went for you.